locker room attitude was absolutely infectious. Guys, I left there feeling like I had just won five straight, and that positive attitude is just what the players think is fueling their hot streak. They all told me this team has become a family over the last few weeks, kind of growing closer like brothers each game, and that's what's made them so tough to beat. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. He had a decorated career at Missouri. Quarterback Blaine Gabbert. Well, Jim, this is it. Blaine Gabbert is going into his third year. He has to get it done this year. It's been rough the first two years, but he still has a chance. We'll see if he can get it done. Jones Drews lined up in a single back formation. First and 10, Maurice Jones Drew. Here's our look at the Jaguars lineup. Surprisingly, their passing attack this year has been rather disastrous. Defense comes out of the nickel. Second down, three to go. Looking to the right side and throwing. The pack was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football? Good call that time by the offense. Blaine Gabbert under center. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Hit JD, Maurice Jones-Drew. You're as good as him to get a nickname. That was a good run to pick up big yardage. down here after the run. Gabbert in the gun. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. And here's the 49ers. Defense stacks up. It's thanks to this unit that in the takeaway, giveaway category, they rank top 10 in turnover differential. down coming up he'll fire it out to the left it's out of bounds incomplete Maurice Jones drew lined up in the backfield Gabbard's back in shotgun formation that pass incomplete. Just when you thought the offense was going to march down and score, look who awakens. The defense makes the play. Yeah, nice job by the defense at time. They got the speed on the on their side. They use it, and they stop the offense at time on the third down. down. Kaepernick heading out now to lead the offense coming off a week in which he threw three interceptions. The Jaguars with a nickel look here on defense.
first and ten. Gets away from the pressure. Shifts away. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open to throw it to. So he just picks up some big yards running the ball. And Manningham's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Escaping the pressure, looks to his left. Under pressure and incomplete. Now we'll get a look at the 49ers offense, starting with the offensive line that knows how to look after its quarterback. They have not only protected him, they have freed him to lead this team down the field with a dangerous passing attack. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Second and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good piece of tackle. Here's the Jaguars' defense. They have not stopped the run all season long. When you can't stop the run, you can't win. Will it be different today? Can they find a way to win the battle at the line of scrimmage and slow down the rushing attack? And Manningham's in the slot. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. Ball is caught. That's a gain of seven. <laughs> Time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Danny? Guys, I got a chance to speak with Colin Kaepernick this week. He didn't factor much into the ground game last week, but guys, they still walked away with a win. In this one, though, he expects to have a bigger impact, saying, I think I need to do a better job when I get the ball, and I need to keep this defense on it with the threat of a long run. Guys, back to you. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Second down and nine. Gore's got it on the handoff. When you're a defensive tackle in the NFL, I'll tell you one thing it means. It means you are one big dude. And that big dude dead time didn't move and tackled the running back for no gain. The 49ers now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. Touchdown! Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him score. Touchdown, pretty exciting stuff. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. It's good. The Jags are ready to return the kick. It's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down here. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Blackman's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and nine. Surveys. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Well, if your offensive line is not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Lewis is shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. 
Back up into third and 15. Gabbert looking long. Right down Broadway. Quarterbacks love throwing the football against cover three. The, the defense is trying to stop the big pass plays down the field so you can clearly see when somebody's around the receiver. Out there near the sideline, get these easy completions. That play is going to be challenged. There is the red flag. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout, and they fail to overturn the call on the field. After the long game, let's see what they do here. right there but it really should have been an interception this drives coaches crazy they get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route and what happens the quarterback just overthrows him Maurice Jones Drew lined up in the backfield. Second down, 10. He'll throw it over the middle, and he hauls it in. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Kaepernick, under center. Second and ten. That ball was going the other way. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. Working that left side, Justin Blackman hauls it in. Touchdown! Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Jaguars' defense certainly contributing to the cause here today. And that interception was good enough to lead the offense out for a short field and a score. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Nickel formation for the defense here. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Down the field. Unstoppable. The 30, the 20, the 10. Inside, and he's home for the touchdown. 
You've got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback. Seating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. He'll take a knee here, and that means the offense will start the game at the 20. First down on the way. Maurice Jones drew. And moves ahead for about four. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. Gus Bradley is the new head coach here in Jacksonville. Had been the defensive coordinator in Seattle. And he can bring that same kind of success that he had with the Seahawks defensively. Things will be turning around here for the Jaguars. I have no doubt about the one thing Gus Bradley is going to bring to the Jaguars is this. Energy and excitement. He is going to take what he learned under Pete Carroll. I think it was kind of natural for Gus Bradley anyway. But take the Pete Carroll way. Bring that here down to Jacksonville, and I'll tell you what it's going to do. It's going to translate into wins. Back to the ground now on first down. They break through, tackle them behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down following the run. Gabbert's got it in the gun. Throws to the right. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. you got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good wide receiver. Staying with the passing game on first down. Oh, and almost picked up that time. Lots of ways to attack cover, two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. Blackman's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and 10. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The pass fails to find the mark. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. This is third down. About midway, second quarter, he'll take the snap. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. That reception gave them the first down. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. Reed makes the tackle. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. We'll stay on the ground on first down. This is where on the defensive side, where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, call something different so you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. Two-minute warning. The long drive continues. Second and goal from the six. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Touchdown. Good 
Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The Jaguars with an extra point try on the way. And the point after is good. The 49ers about to receive the kick after this game was just tied before halftime. The scores 14 to 14. Down. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Holding, team. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some First of that down. pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And Ohio. once he gets Ohio. a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Offense lines up here. Ohio. 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 First and ten. Play action. Trying to work that left side. And he was wide open. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. Manningham's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Setting up screen. Reaches out and grabs it. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Let's go now to Danielle Polini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Drops the pass. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason they took their eyes off the football before it got there. They face third down after the incomplete pass. They're setting up screen. He has the grab. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first, and now we've got a fourth down situation. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Signals, fair catch. First down. Gabbert in the gun. Going across the middle. Oh, almost caught. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. And here we have second down. Gabbert's going to take it from the gun. Looking across the middle. Gain of seven. The Jaguars use another timeout here, and they have one left. Lewis playing out of position in the backfield here. Playing Gabbert in shotgun formation. He wants to go deep. And that's going to be a three and out. It's nice to have a good arm and throw the football down the field like this. But that time, that was terrible. Just overthrew the open receiver. No 
return. The ball's coming out to the 20. They face first down. to Vernon Davis, has the catch. So many years, you know, we just drinking deep, deep and dunk quarterbacks. Now we got guys in there throwing it deep down the field. What a nice catch. What a really good deep throw. And Manningham's lined up in the slot. Kaepernick from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Ohio! Ohio! Second down coming up. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incompletion, forcing it into double coverage. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. And he's going to be brought down. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. This will be from downtown. Not enough leg with that one. Jukes around the defender. That's the end of the first half. And you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Let's check in now with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Guys, I had a chance to speak with Paul Pozlesny at halftime. A tie game so far, guys, and he thinks that's a product of two teams being well prepared. He said, I don't think either team has been able to surprise the other, which means it just comes down to making plays, and both teams are even in that category. So now we've just got to keep fighting in the second half. That's it from down here, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll to the field. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. Fakes out the defender right there on the spot. Michael James is in the backfield. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. And Manningham's in the slot. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. They've got him down there. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. On the way, third down. Screen. He makes the catch. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. Well, we were at practice on Friday, Jim. This team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. 
Here's the first snap after the big play. Frank Gore gets it here. And he is tackled at the 14. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside and you stop the wide runs by the offense. And he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Six in the books. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. The 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Send him to the 20 yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Throws to the right, secures it with two hands. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. The 49ers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Second down and seven. Justin Blackman hauls it in, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Blaine Gabbert under center. First and 10. Maurice Jones Drew gets it here. And he's got four yards. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Shorts lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and six. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Third down and six. Gabbert throws the long bomb. That ball has been picked off. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Allen's a receiver in the slot. Action fake. Interception. Nice tackle. Most NFL linebackers did really line good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive back. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. They come out in the dime package. Now first and ten. Jones Drew's going to take the handoff now. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. After running it, it's second down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Gabbert standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. There is a flag down, and no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Pushing the foul. You took a few of these shots in your day. That's a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, nowadays these guys, they I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. 
This, to me, this is a bad call. Uh, the defensive player feel bad. He, all he's doing is his job, and he still gets penalized 15 yards. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Second and goal from the three. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And that's a two-yard game. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and goal from the one. And he's in for the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. 15 minutes to go. Welcome to the fourth quarter. The Jaguars ball hawking defense certainly set up that score. The interception, the good field position, and then the touchdown. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. McDonald's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Holds him to seven. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down and three following that nice run. Gore. Gets it out to the 22. Hard to get these plays nowadays in the NFL. Second and short, the defense sails out because they are expecting run. Well, it's a run that time by the offense and nowhere to go. Trying to beat the play clock. Unable to beat the down clock, and that'll cost them five yards, a delay of game. A lot to overcome here, especially that penalty, and it's third down. Kaepernick from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. The punter awaits the snap. He wants to return this one. It's Navarro Bowman in on the play. Blaine Gabbard under center. First and ten. Gabbard looking long. Very nearly intercepted. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones too. Gabbard in the gun. Eyeing that left side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's tackled at the 27, but a new set of downs coming up. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense 
reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Blaine Gabbert under center. Second down and 10. And Navarro Bowman brings him down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Third and eight. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They also pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. And the kick is good. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. down here. He had no time to get set. That second down coming up. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Zeroed in on that one. And the tackle was made at the 48-yard line. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. First down and 10. And he's taken down. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. They need to get the playoff. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. That's an interception. Hey, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Maurice Jones Drew now makes the move to the right. They immediately fall for a timeout. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Jones Drews lined up as the single back. Third. And seven. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones Drew. They tackle him for a loss. They're in punting formation. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Lined up in the slot. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Incompletion on that hurry throw. The quarterback 
coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver's not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Kaepernick from the gun. Throws to the right. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. The 49ers get ready to snap the football. They must be careful. They have no timeouts to play with. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. The throw to the left. And intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being pulled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Takes the knee. Second down. Takes the knee. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. Before we go, Phil, how about a final thought about this loss? You know, Jim, when a game is over like this, when you go inside, all you think about is yourself. What did you do to give your team a better chance to win? And it hangs with you. It only changes when you go out on Wednesdays and start practicing for the next team before you get over a loss. Ah, oh, Jim, this, this wide receiver has it all. He can play inside, outside. He can be a running back if he wanted to. He's tough. He's talented. That's why the play of today's game is a nice catch by him down the field. of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.